hairstyles it's Bailey so you guys recently have been asking for some more short hairstyles well guess what guys I have another one for you today because yes I am one of your short hair sisters and I'm here I got your back this hairstyle that I have for you guys today is called the side French pullback so as you can see this is where you're going to be braiding up the side and then you're gonna secure it at the end and do a little wrap around and ta-da you have a perfect short hairstyle so I'm about to show you guys how to do it let's go Okay, you guys, so this hairstyle can work on any length of hair, but specifically, it's meant for people with short hair, like me. So, it's a really basic hairstyle, basically just a French braid and then a twist at the end. So, I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna take a small piece of hair at the very front on this side of my head. I'm gonna go ahead and split it into three sections, like you do for a braid, and then begin French braiding it. So, the trick to it, this is, is keeping it really tight and then taking small pieces when you add into your braid. Okay, so just continue adding small pieces. So I'm grabbing hair on the bottom parts that line up with my ear, so I'm trying to keep a straight line, so I'll take about this much hair by the time I'm done. You don't want to go too far down because you don't want to leave no hair on this side of the head, but you also don't want to go too far up because it is supposed to pull the hair away from your face on this side. Tough times, they tend to make you lose your mind. Bright signs and sunlight can be hard to find, but we'll fight this off until it's out of sight. I don't know about you guys, but I love having my hair down, but when you have short hair, sometimes it can get greasy really fast, or it can get like less curly on one side of your head and curlier on the other, or this just might happen for all hair, I don't know, but this is a really good hairstyle for like the second day that you curled your hair when it's a little looser, because you can pull up one side and have it out of your face, but still have it curled and down, you know, so it looks like really nice as well. So you can see, I'm just taking pieces that line up with my ear right here. This will probably be my last piece for this side. All right. So once you've finished your French braid, I'm just going to continue braiding down just a little bit, even though we're going to rubber band it in a second. All right. So you can see I French braid. Most of the hair up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my elastic. It should be a small one because you've got short hair. You know, typically you don't need a big one unless you have super thick hair, which actually my hair is pretty thick, but I can still use one of these. So I'm gonna take one of the small elastics and wrap it up at the base where you finished French braiding. So right here. Should just create like a little ponytail to hold your braid. Okay, so now you can see that I have finished my braid. It's tied against my head. I have it rubber banded up. So this is gonna be the basic look of it, but we're not quite finished yet. There are two more steps that you have to do. Number one, so you can keep the braid tight to your head and kind of go for the more edgy look like this, or you can go ahead and pull it out and pancake it a little bit, which is kind of what I prefer to do to make it feel more loose and boho. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it out a little, loosen it up. There, that's a little better. And then the last step is the wrap at the end. So go ahead and take a part of the ponytail that you just braided. It doesn't have to be a big piece. It can be a pretty small piece like this. And wrap it around that elastic so you're hiding it. Typically, I just do two wraps because again, this is a short hairstyle so my hair is short. So you can see the piece down here is underneath my ponytail. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bobby pin and pin that piece up so the wrap up stays in. All right. And there you have it, we're finished. So y'all, let's be 
honest, when you have short hair, the probability of you being able to pull it all the way up without having to use a million bobby pins is very I can tell you from experience, it is hard to get my hair up. So this hairstyle is perfect because I can get it out of my face on one side while still having it down on the other side. It's like the perfect mix, the perfect in between, the perfect 50-50. It is the perfect hairstyle for you and y'all with short hair. But also, it works for long hair too. Surprise! So you guys definitely try this hairstyle at home. Now let's do the final spin. Check it out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do that by clicking the flower button down below. And to watch more hairstyles, click the buttons right over there. I'll see you guys some other time. I love you all. Bye. Falling to pieces.